it's Joanna again. I got some things to talk about. So this past Saturday was LYS Day, local yarn shop. I hope y'all all went out and had a look-see. So I'll show you uh, the footage I took for that day right now. Hey y'all, it's Joanna. I'm on the road. I heard through the grapevine that today is local yarn shop day. So I am headed to a little local yarn shop in Cove, Louisiana. They don't even have a stoplight in this little town. Um, so I will be so excited. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. I'm just used to shopping at Joanne's Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I've recently have gotten some really nice premium fibers online. But I'm excited to check out this little shop of all places in this little bitty town. So, eek, I'm excited and I'll uh, get back with y'all when I pull up there. Okay, bye. Across the street here is this cute little shop. It's called McNeedles. Isn't that so precious, that front porch, wraparound porch? So, I guess I'll go inside and introduce myself. See you in a sec. Okay, y'all, so I am in the shop, and um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I am so overwhelmed and intimidated by all this gorgeousness. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what to look at. I don't... I just want to take it all home. And... Bathe in it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's just... Overwhelmingly gorgeous in here. Walls... Balls to the walls, people. Or Hanks to the Spanks. What, can, what rhymes with Hanks? Hanks are amazing. Hanks turn into amazing balls. They do. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little giddy on yarn fumes. Let me go to the next room. Here we are. I'm actually in love with this right here. This ombre, Estiva. It is made in Italy, 336 yards. Um, let's see what else can we find out about it. It's a five bulky. Um, it's a hundred percent cotton, but look at it. It's like a, it's like a tape and it is just gorgeous. All the different colors. There's one for Ashley. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful.
worked up. This diva, here it is worked up in net. Of course, I don't know how to knit, but isn't that gorgeous? They said they haven't seen it crocheted yet, so I think I'm gonna have to get something, get some and crochet it. This edging, they said, was with this yarn here. was like freaking phenomenal. I got a little goodie bag here full of stuff. When I get home, I will pull it all out and show you what I picked. And um, of course, I wanted to take everything home, but I couldn't, I couldn't, <laughs> you know what I mean. But this little shop is so adorable little wraparound porch I'm just sitting on the steps right here by the side door and um, if y'all ever pass through Lacombe Louisiana stop by McNeedles hey y'all I'm back home so let me show you uh, what all I got for oh look I got this cute little bracelet it's like a leather strap with uh, centimeters and inches on it I was like, oh, that's cute. And I'm sure it'll come in handy too, right? <laughs> so I did pick up some of that Estiva yarn. Y'all, it's just so flipping gorgeous. I hope it works up good. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it, but it is like a tape yarn and it's 100% cotton. It's a, it says it's a five bulky and what else do we need to know about it? 336 yards. So I got this one. What is this colorway? Does this tell me a color? No, 2620, it's a number. And I got this one. Aren't they gorgeous? Ooh, I love it. Then I got this little number. <laughs> it's so pretty. I've seen other people get these like, um, you know, from out of town or whatever. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I got one, I got one. I love it, I love it. This is from, oh, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that. Zabberball Crazy. So these two are called Lorna's Laces. And um, it's called the Shepherd Sock Yarn. 
80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. Gorgeous. Two colorways. This one reminded me of Christmas. It's got reds and greens. So I just picked it up because um, I can make Christmas socks with it, right? 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. So I'll try that, make some little Christmas socks. So um, my intention is for 2019 to learn how to knit and then be able to make socks. But now, thinking in my wee little brain that I'm gonna start looking for some some good crochet sock patterns. So if you know one, post the link down below, please do. I got a cute little mug from the store I went to, McNeedles, and on the other side it says, shh, I'm counting, right? And also, don't speak to me till I'm down to here. <laughs>week so far, so I haven't completed too many uh, things, just two. So I will show you right now my new unicorn. It's a little girl. She's got a braid in the front and a little flower by her ear. And she's got long hair. She's got long flowing hair and there's her little tail. So, isn't she cute? So, um, she's already got a new home. She's getting ready to go off to. And I think I got the better end of the deal because my new friend, Karen from KB Fibers, um, likes it. She loves it. And I love the things that she makes. So, we are trading I'm getting a pair of knitted socks, y'all, for, for this little unicorn. Score! <laughs> Thanks, Karen. I can't wait to get my socks. And this will be off in the mail to you very soon. Yay! So the next thing I did, this is my next completed project. I did another elephant. So each time I've made one, I've changed it up just a little bit. So um, this one has, I did some more like shaping on the trunk and made it more like the, you know, the little snout at the end of the trunk. And I doubled up the ears instead of just having one um, row of crochet. Or what do you call it? Just, you know, it's doubled. So it's thicker. And I think if I make another one, I would probably make it where it was more cur curved in or something like that. But anyway, it came out really cute with a little pink in the ears and I put a little pink in the tail in the back. Just that blush color. Okay, now what? That was it. That was all I made that I completed. I did work some more on that shell stitch um, blanket and I finished up that half a cake. So, and I got two more cakes to go. So one of my previous videos, I talked about the One Skein Wonder Bag by um, Ashley um, with Heart Hook Home. And I found it, I found my bag. So I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like in person. It's really neat the way that she uh, puts it together and makes it up. This is made with one uh, Karen Big Cake, the Big Cakes. So this really cute bag, is it's so adorable. Of course, it reminds me of the 70s when I grew up. I just love it. Pretty neat. So speaking of Ashley, I'm, I love this girl apparently. I, I love everything that she makes. Y'all really need to check her out. Check out her blog, Heart 
hook home. I'll link it again. But um, last night she was live on Facebook. She was having some technical difficulties, but um, she came up with this new square that I think is on Moogly. I'll have to check that out. Apparently Moogly is doing a, a blanket and I guess a lot of um, designers are putting, you know, giving her a design square to put in this thing. But this is what Ashley's looks like. I printed this out last night online. That's how it starts. And it's called the Butterfly Vibe 12 inch Afghan square. But you could just keep going bigger and bigger, but however big you want to make it, you know, it's one of those that just keeps growing and growing. So last night before I fell asleep, sitting in bed, I started making one. Whoops. But I, I, I had to frog a bunch of it and then I tried again and then I had to frog it again. I'm doing something wrong where you're joining, you have to chain two, I guess, to get the height to start the double crochets. And um, I must be counting that as a stitch because the one side kept growing bigger and bigger. And oh well, I gotta back to the drawing board. I gotta figure this out. But I thought that was pretty. I've actually never made a square before. I've never made a granny square. So um, I don't know. So this is another uh, one of Ashley's projects. Now I've been talking about, especially with all my new girlfriends on Zoom, about I want to do a big girl project. I want to make like a shawl or a, a vest, you know, something you can wear besides a hat or a scarf. And um, they've been giving me lots of great suggestions as to where to start um, or ones that they like. So um, this is one, this is another pattern by um, Ashley on Heart Hook Home. This is called, what is it called? It's Shawl Good. <laughs> I love the names of her stuff. It's shawl good, y'all. So this is a little, um, it's kind of like a little vest that I made. I made this for my granddaughter last summer. And um, of course you can, I love these rainbow colors. But anyway, so it's, um, it's a really, really cute little summer vest. And I'm thinking about making one, maybe, for myself. There's another pattern she has out that I, I'm thinking about trying that one first because it's more plain, simple. And, um, oh, let me go get that. So okay, this is it. It's called the Lightweight Summer Vest. Somehow this got flipped when I printed it out. But that's, that's what it looks like. And it just looks like a cute little uh, summer vest you can wear with a, a cute little top and some leggings or whatever, you know, whatever you like to wear. Let's see if you can see that picture. So, thinking about making that, that's definitely something that I want to do. So I'm either going to make that or that. But this, this, her, her uh, bomber, bombshell bomber cardi. I definitely want to make one of those too. I love to wear cardigans. I wear them a lot, um, even in the summer because we go out to eat a lot at restaurants and I'm always cold. So I always have some kind of jacket or sweater or whatever in the car and whatever, because I freeze in the air condition. <laughs> so y'all go check out Ashley with Heart Hook Home. Although I'm trying very hard not to buy any more yarn. Um, Karen with Happiness is Homemade. She's really sweet. I love to watch her too. She posted um, about finding the Karen cotton cakes at Michael's. I was like, oh my gosh, I loved the Karen cotton cakes when they came out. When was that? A year or two ago or whenever they came out. 
and I love the Karen cotton cakes, so I had to go get some. Thanks, Karen. You're such an enabler. <laughs> but these are the colors that I picked up. This one is. This one is aqua. Oh, darn. Where's my glass? Aqua breeze. And this one is lilac. I decided to get solids instead of, you know, the, um, not variegated, but what do you call it? You know, the cakes where it's striping um, or the large, very large stripes. This is just cream. And I think this one is coral. This one is watermelon, watermelon. So it's a blushy kind of watermelon. I like it. So I just picked up those four. I figured if I wanted to stripe something, I can just do it myself, right? These are some pretty colors. <laughs> Y'all go check out Karen too. Both the Karens, Karen with KB Fibers and Karen with Happiness is Homemade. Now where's my remote? There it is. So at the time of me filming this right now, I have 185 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you. That is so awesome. But I didn't want to wait till 200 to do a giveaway. I just want to do like random act of kindness giveaways. So, and they may be small, but I'm just going to do them every now and then just because I want to. Because... I'm selfish that way. It makes me feel good to give things away. So, if you're interested in this yarn, because I'm pulling from my stash, and I just want someone to have it if they want it, or if they need it, or if they like it. But this is um, Lion Brand, Heartland. Why, did it, why do I keep taking my glasses off when I need to see? Lion Brand, Heart Brand. And it's uh, 251 yards. It's 100% acrylic. It's a size four. Let's see, where's the color? Guadalupe Mountains. So it's this beautiful green color. I have three skeins of it. Um, it is something I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So it's beautiful yarn. If you're interested in winning this, just leave a comment that, um, let's see, what can you say? Because not everybody's going to want it. But if you do, just say, um, I love the green yarn. How about that? <laughs> or I want to win the green yarn. So if you are interested in winning this, let me know in your comment. Because otherwise, I'll pick someone else that that wants it. So, um Yay! This is gonna be fun. I love doing stuff like this. This is fun. I love doing that. My last giveaway, and I couldn't wait. So I'm just gonna keep doing them. US only, please. So thanks for sticking around for Joe's Web number seven. And don't forget to be kind with your words and go tell somebody you love them today and give them a big hug. See y'all next week. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.